Thank you.
Whilst the music is playing, I thank you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior of Jesus Christ. music We agree that the Malum Edi Akaza into the tent. I think uh, most of the people that's his ceremony, he must be in front of us.
greet you once more in the one of the of our mighty Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. When we say Amen, Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Today we having the last moment with Malumi Edi. It's a moment of us, my Lord, we grieve. But let's celebrate his life. He was with us for quite some time in life. I expected that Mudimuta for some more years, but life is not in our hands. Samsoni a rapelle retome tiro ya rena let's stand so that we will like a chape let's our hearts before the lord father we thank you for this day we come together with the family I have come in the morning, as they mourn the passing of the father, the, great, the grandfather, uncle, whatever it is, oh God, relating to different people that are here this morning whose lives he touched, that Lord, you will begin this program with us. Because without you, we can do nothing. We ask, O oh God, that you give us a clear perspective of death and also of life. We pray and commit every person who is here, including those who will come and pay their tributes, and those who are still on their way, O oh God, that you will keep them and protect them even in this rain. Holy Spirit, we invite you in the songs that we will sing, in the words that we will speak, that they will minister comfort, fortitude, and strength to this family today. That they will speak like When he said, when Uziah died, I saw the Lord. High and lifted up sitting in the temple. I pray, O oh God, that even through the passing of their beloved Father, that they will experience, have a divine experience with you. And not in their lives. Because you were declared that we believe or die. We belong to the Lord. That they will understand that their father is not lost, that he may be absent from the body, but he is present with the Lord Jesus Christ. Open the hearts of your people to be receptive into your word, that those who do not know Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior, today will welcome him in their hearts. We thank you. We welcome lead and guide us in this place. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, thank you, Muruti. I will do the program director the remarks, even though they uh, are not uh, on the program. I will do the research of the cell phone Zarina. If you have any questions, you can put it on silent to respect the Mudiruwarona. Uh, I believe, or we know that uh, there's regulations in terms of COVID-19, and we're going to observe that, distancing and the uh, little masking, and I hope everybody who sanitizes it, eh? So it is known that you will observe that before we could start the program. And uh, if you look at the program, I'll take you through the program. 
we only have uh, approximately uh, three speakers on outside the tribute by children, which gives us uh, an opportunity, as spoken to the undertakers, where we will go even before nine o'clock to uh, the grave site. And uh, Mr. Makwea, or Liana Averidi, he's not on the program, but he can be after a tribute by the Kwabe's family. Without much ado, we must have a musical item before Nkabitsa Malum George. Malum George is the brother to Malum Edi. They are our uncles, and we love them and respect them. It's just unfortunate. Malumar Nozamedi, we love him so much, and his memories will always stay in our hearts. Can I have a music item? And to Kopelo Malum Chochi, at Lepa Mopil, at Orifa, an item. And the speakers, Sarona, Lokolohan, we have enough time. Speak your heart out. This is the last moment by which we are with a Malumi aid. I'm normally strict when it comes to time near the speakers, Marakere Lokolohan, today, Renale Nako, and even though we are mourning, but we have time to say goodbye to Malum Aid. Malum George, you can come to the front. Can I have a Miss Galatia, please? <laughs> We did not fail to look after our cattle in other ways. In, in, in English, they would say that. I said in translation, I didn't say, I didn't say the meaning of what you want to say correctly. Hey. Resa palelong ke hodisa. 
ke ra gore khomo e re disitse for 74 years le tse o disa o ka sala khomo e disitse mo ra ho for 74 years ba bang ba lena ka re go letse mo ditropon lo disa ke kholoni tso re go disa ke o irang ke go thokomela di le sakara he no ko na he nga re thokomela mo gae o disa ko na he ngwa kwa ra le tsa tsile tlhabile la go fisa or pula ya na ya ka hona ya no o tsentsor o thokomela di khomo tsa ra ho porque le di bata di bata ke di phoforo tsa naga tse di athekang ba re ke ke di predators ke na le go atheka di phoforo so tsentsor o ne o di o ntshitse mathlo di nameng o di sitse di khomo tse tsa heno ba haetsa so khomo e ba haetsa na re di sitse for 74 years le na ntsho henga henga ra o mongwe le na ka re tsa monti se tsa di khomo se just for two hours for one day david tsa monti se tsa di khomo o tsaba aka se le ka se subele a le mo mora wa di khomo tse o tsaba ma re na ange ra tsaba re na ba khomo e bile na re sa lapa ma ra khutela ba le fa be ra ba le fa nge ke ka 1972 ra re nge le re tusen odisa khomo e ba kwa ba le kwa le tuk owa ru hausa na magre and atoma odisa khomo e and we this is a area of 74 aira 74 years so ritu me se ba ha se ke re hara pa le lo ko odisa ke ra ya lo sasen ha pe se se nka se le contise tan sol ke ho re hara pa le lo ko hodisa because re tswa ka mo femeling e le gore ba re rutile le foko le bo mo ruti maseko ba tswa re go tsang ka lona e bi ho re atsa mai le ge a sa rala ra mona a complain le fa la ka peini mo khare nga re ke na le chest pain e be le next thing o o re to hetse ha lwala a ramona a so ko di sa en so o no tsama that is why even in the of his obituary car he died in his sleep come on to i to ba le mo le ka ne wa ha e a re o ne a mo ye re la breakfast ke le are ke go tla se kwa go go ire la breakfast ke tla tla go go tlo o bitsa o tlotsa o makala motho a sa theo o makala motho a sa theo na go ya tsama na go ya tsama ha re bona na ba kodimo o kra e lo gore eng motho wa mo makatsa bian rena rasa palong ko hodisa is because we have been anticipating this type of thing not necessary ka edwin ka everybody wa ka mo family because the salon ya go 90 ke re ruta gore re ithute go bala matsatsi a bo phelo ba re ha re ya lo muri ke tswe e we must Baby Raka er we must learn to number ya ka ke ya king kings er we must learn to number the days of our lives gore a ke re gora gore re ne re bala mengwa ga ya re her di number ya ni di days we must learn to count the days of our lives ever the days of our lives aba bonele ka so se bona ko tv kwa ba re the days of our lives bona ba bolela ka matsatsi bo phelo ba re na go le tsatsi le motho tsa maileng wa jana le 74 years or 47 years or 4 years or 7 years 
Sikia ya na maka asa ya rochosa tabaeho. Kika mko mudimu ae plenty lenga te. Mudimu wa rona le a grand plan for all of us. God has a grand plan for all of us. Moto, he a toko fez. Kika wana mwadi program mbare. He died untimely. There is nothing untimely about death. Omulo omu watamaya, otamaya ka napwe mudimu, amete nyona. Akala mudimu wari iti se even before we were conceived. So mudimu iti napwe rotamaya ka yon. That is why baba mba kakala ba vele kwa sesu ba fiti ili. Baba mba vele ba 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 kako fala el baba nyani. Baba mba pira was reading about a certain woman, I think it's in the United States, Malovanyana Mo. Otro Kofesenka, 116 years. La Utwa Batuva Mamba Pe. Africa. If you can go into the jungles and the forests of Africa, Okra Batuva Batisin, even maybe over 120 years. But because they were not recorded, Bako kule lidi communication hare kwenye kuhitika hapo na kila wakati. E, diano he? E tu ini ona nchaka. Rituali hare ni seven. We were born into a family of seven siblings. Fame. Hara at that time we were four boys and three girls. Kacha na kitoro wakresi baka dume na kore they were they they were girls. They are still girls or what? <laughs> or you are, you are women now, eh? <laughs> but can I go, Papa, the man, never, we have four boys and three girls. Then, one at home, our eldest brother, Pace, in America, 2001, 20 years ago. Asalo our, our the eldest amongst the girls, Rosie. Rosie was married a few years ago, so for a long time, but it's not long ago. Then on to Edwin, over So Rosie is only four. Rosie is only two boys, Nale boy, you guys boy. Actually, this boy here, and this boy here, and that girl there. What's the other girl? What's the other girl? The big girl. One man. Hey, piano hey. Batoba, Baba Vera Hanle Edwin Ba. These seven people. But they still are trying to one. Both our parents were teachers. My mother was a teacher, and my mother was also a school teacher. That is why, even at this age, walking now, where I stay in Harangua, when people meet me, old people, Baba Vela, Kekekebo, and Baba but come on, Rao Mohabe. So what? What means it? Come on, what teacher? Come George. Come on, what teacher? Come. Edwin. What means it? What more? Opola Edwin. And you know what is in the Rivitoka sort? My in the last, the last crew, but change the way that sort. Come on, what teacher? Come. Come on, what mysteries? Never mysteries come. Eh? Ba 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 ba. That's why people still remember us because our parents were their teachers. My teachers were leaders in communities at that time. I think Haki is Mr. Makwea. That has changed. Eh? That paradigm has shifted. Teachers are no longer. Leaders in communities, eh? But you man never was out here to have a TV, sir. Hey. So, of the seven siblings, Babas, Berehunke, Ndatele, Me, Makomu, five of them, five out of seven, were teachers. And those who are still alive are teachers. Take a look at the never age, but you might teach it. 
But me say my teacher, those two out of five who were not teachers, can nalemun no. Can na nerle marubi in that family. In terms of we teacher, nerle family ya mati. Kuro nonse ka mohai no uka ba bula la ka di buka se di no na di buka se kolo kala sa ma teacher ro di mala every day. The skim book, na reach my now go skim book, go register. Bo bo, what na mo bula la no se di an ka se si na bus di no se no uka every day in the house. Why is it? Kuro a an academic set up or situation. Mo na ho bula la se la ka education. Bian. Muto hende kena kena nara to bola la nilose keren mana waisi ora to bola la nilota bu mesodology pedagogics wato eng keng ini lose um ara mana akere ire here re are ya go ba chisalwa hanu so that's it easy. So, um, so Nale Ed Rene Re 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 Utwa. My hair for Pani Pida says it's Glen Phillips here a bit. He let no tar about to back in my mouth. If you don't want to put some malova, first thing, Eric, I am more malova and tar. Hey, man, why not Jordan? Hey. Hapa ro misa di argument sa how le edwin wait hapa le nan nang lang ni saan eh na pila pila nang sa nang ni saan nang challenge ang nang nade akar ba na yung nakar na ipusar kiti teacher na nahar na nahar le na ganti eh na gumu hulu mo kito mila sa A before A hapa nang sa nabo sa A sa B eh na two one at two one twenty six for one so Nai putar ena he can teach. Kau merajar mana? There is nothing you can teach me. Nangaru tawe nanduri teacher. Wena right umoto o teacher ko skolo mar kapan tak skolo? Apa lo kita guna ke education ni mana? Papan. Kau pun nangaru tak guna dia. Papan. Kere. Wajar kau nak guna rutin orang guna mana best? Eh? Oh, for the Kimurutian, I was a teacher because Kimurutian is not a best kid. And I go high for Bona Koto, no matter what I tell her. You mean somebody, Mudi Mudi Mukwa? They are called La China from Rao. But I have that. It's a old. I'm talking to Greek. Hey! How I got to say what I'm talking about? The Tahe, the Tarin, Papa. Carne, the favorite, yeah. Hey! Kau orang gak kesian mana yang kamu pelajui dia? Kau buat dia mana? Dia perlu se, eh, China Paiski, eh, Margaria, dia kan biasa. Kau tu ada nama tu itu pas juga tau. Agar ano, agak sah kau la cai, kau nak beri? Eh, kau beri pun saya tak kesian mana. Ishak. Absolutely right, Madam Judge. We, we need this moment. Oh, yeah. okay. Take your time. All right. Hey, Dan. Hey, I feel like I'm going to get a little bit of a chance. I'm going to get a little bit of a chance. I'm going to get a little bit of a chance. I'm going to get a little bit of a chance. I'm going to get a little bit of a chance. I'm going to get a little bit of a chance. I'm going to get a little bit of a chance. I'm going to get a little bit of a chance. I'm going to get a little bit of a chance. I'm going to get a little bit of a chance. Nah, pelara jangan kau siberin kane dulu. Jangan kau kira macam, kembali lah English gua. Kawan, dah nu. Ela kore, kau tahu naling, eh 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 eh, what? Kau nale tendency to what great learning? Kau nale erudai. Kawan, dan edi nari ya. Kawan. Ah, kalau home sendiri, na otak otak ho, otak ho bocah berdiri sini, bocah di sini. Kali twelve, saya kau di ye, kau nak di ye. Twelve, kalau kita 
porque que na cobola na this benefit some of my brothers Edwin Edwin Hey, not too bad. No, I think they have 10 minutes or 15 minutes. As Alex said, in our toilet. I saw what's a very easy thing. Oh, 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 Kamu hai bar buat sahur, u komplain ni mereka. Kes, kita ker ina sekarang je seba, senale, senale, mesti senjenteh ini. So hari tu aku melayan bahaya. Le naba de, de jam sekarang. Davy tu kah, kau. You look up the fields. So, I can't wait to talk about some of them people. Hey, when I'm going to get out of my way, this is a serious time in our lives. So, the central of the two is a name. Where is a name? Revan Sanghor Ratan. Her Ratan are the two sons. Ratan Khan. Raeletla. Ravan Sana. Kope. Ratan Khan. Hey, Kope Alok. Kope Alok. We must work together. Hey, like Nale and Dwayne, we used to work together. The good reasons. But I'm sure you will this. I'm sure Dwayne and I can move. Okay, okay, okay. Kilo mo paka. It's a ring one and two. We zama it. I only say that's for Lela. We must just accept. Kore, modimo onarfile, modimo or or say it. Diano. Broso le limpo le le obutum le maybe le kimbisia papa le na ker le ponese ker le ponese ing male nacho he needs your support now more than ever. He needs your support more than ever. Le na bo bo che le na le mitia le na. So has to be for le ne bo bo all the time. You must because ma le na chomia ai imutlo his. Onya ko den ne le tamo le tlo mo che ka kere. Rus ko den ko tenga bo bo ya le le. Serena Omohai, and now the power is a little bit more front loop. It's a nobody ace. We get time. I get it. As a brief old. Yeah. Togo Melema Maha. I get it. Yeah. So, Pobo Che, Bahala Fare, Bato. Rere. Pomo Che, Ha. ผมจะหาผมจะหาเอ้ยมันน้องเต็มมาจะบอกเลยนะเกิดเกิดมาหาเขาเขาเมย์เลยมันอะไรอยู่ตัวพี่สิพี่ตัดดิฟิคัลไ
And we are a family. But uh, yesterday when I was ministering, he began to kill like more people. You know, we're really so close together as a neat family. The Machekis, the, the Palas, the Homos, the Masekos, the Mutlachanis. But my worry is one. Malum Edi kare aratro shalom. I asked the question yesterday. Do we know her now? Malum Edi uko kaya kona jano. That is the question that I asked yesterday. And I said to Muruji Samson, let us preach to the people, let us preach to our family, because we've been given that mandate by Jesus Christ. He retrochela chomotza, our family, about Jesus Christ. By the time we are the other side, it's either utlo mukra aliko helen and wena kolukai kolukodimu. Why don't you tell them about Jesus Christ now? When we say we love you, he nurkia I'll minister to you on a regular basis. I don't mind hormotwa, not hormotwa too. Yes, it's a bad habit. But the question is, do you have Jesus Christ in your spirit? Can you tell the next person about Jesus Christ? Or by the time when we are dead, the way we used to celebrate really more fasting, let's celebrate the same way when we are in heaven. Amen. All right, let's go to the next item. Tribute by the Lukwabe's family. Um, let's see, we are almost uh, nine o'clock. Good it's, it's not, it's eight o'clock, I mean. Good uh, at least uh, about uh, 10 to 15 minutes each. Uruti, the Tamfa, approximately 20 minutes. The Tahopelam, a Mikey at Lukopeli. And whilst at Lukopeli, the Tahopela just some bit of piano notes. Amen. Whenever one needs to get uh, greater information with regard to a situation, he was a person to go to. Always willing to provide advice, a very calm person indeed. All right, and um, from my side, um, he was a person that uh, one uh, would always. Uh, draw respect from. He's, he's been a guy that's been relatively uh, involved in family matters, for example. He was a person that uh, whenever we faced with challenges within the family, he would, uh, I would go to him, we would have a discussion around um, a situation and he would always be bring out uh, a solution to us. All right, but Daddy is a guy that um, also loved his sport. He was very knowledgeable about some of the soccer clubs locally, as well as abroad. He used to watch SABC 
uh, local PSL soccer whenever I come around. And uh, yeah, you could learn quite a bit whenever you start discussing. And uh, if you have an opinion about something, you would be easily reminding you or point out certain things to change your opinion, but also objectively so. All right, so with any, as I can remember, and, and this tribute is basically unprepared. It's basically a case of um, not being difficult to try and talk about his politics. Uh, For us, he was a person that uh, would always inspire one. He was a guy that would always put education first and expand on current affairs politically and otherwise. And, uh, you know, um, and, and his neutrality was such that uh, uh, if there's a conflict situation within the family, you go to him and uh, he would lay down the rules and the table and uh, we would end up uh, looking at situations objectively. For me, the daddy will be sorely, sorely missed. And, uh, for my sister, Nikki, uh, as Uncle George mentioned now, that uh, we need to pull together and, and stay together because he was a guy that would always bring family members together. He was a person that would not, uh, for example, cause division amongst us. And uh, my short tribute is that uh, let's continue his legacy. His legacy in terms of uh, being a person that would always be objective whenever a situation arises. Daddy, we will sorely miss you. Thank you. gave me the strength or in life you have to stand up and fight for the things which you want to fight for and uh, with those words I just want to go to a scripture Samabani and I'm saying to the Homo family just like Moses who passed on it came to Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 where God spoke to Joshua and said my servant Moses is dead now, therefore arise, cross the Jordan. Generation, they are changing. As Malumidi has passed on. Kiprusu, Kimpo, Kiosien, Seloki Misa Osien, Garber, Rinsen, Rimisa Osien. You are the ones 
now who have to take the legacy Yamalumi AD forward. You have now to stand up. You are the Joshua's. You have now to stand up and cross the Jordan on behalf of the former families. And make sure that uh, you look at the principles which your father laid in your lives. When we see you, we must be able to see Malumi AD in you. Amen. And God said to Joshua, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And I'm saying, hold on to Jesus Christ. Yes, we're going to pass on some time. But the only answer in life is Jesus Christ. The only solutions are in Jesus Christ. And I've made an example yesterday. Where, you know, we are a family we used to love. We love each other, not we used to. We love each other dearly. But it is going to be painful. And I, I'm still emphasizing. Talk about Jesus Christ amongst yourself. Lead people to Jesus Christ. Let people receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. By the day you pass on, you have fruit which you are able to present to God. Amen. Amen. But why it's about the people don't appreciate that. And now I'm saying that I'm going to tell you that Christ Jesus. I'll be amongst you and I'll share what you are taking, but I'll tell you about Jesus Christ. And I'm going to emphasize that for the rest of my life. Remember my words today. Amen. Let's go to our program, Mr. Makwea, Atle Kapele, to give us a few words. Understand, understand that if I'm wrong, he'll correct me. Can I just have a few minutes? Yes, Mr. Makwea. Thank you, Pastor Mark. Thank you, Pastor Somehow forgot, but Morawa Rekomo, I'm phoning her. No, 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 Mr. Makuya, you are on the program. Make sure that you show show up, and you're going to speak on behalf of the friends of Papa, the colleagues of her. Nitika Hore Rekomo. Pizzile I can proudly say for the that they come for 39 years. That they come for 39 years. I've never lost contact with him, though he left Mamlodi High School. I've always been with him, whether physically or ka technology 
I was always with him, always in contact with him. And now, I realize, or rather, I'm getting confused for Pila Pila. Who is George? Who is Edwin? Hey, but what's for another man? What's for the Kraka personality? The Kamale Menar Zinabon, or Kurti Kami, the Tata Tata Rehom. I am so much perplexed about the way Kurti Menar Zinabon, Lea Rehom. It's for Matata. So I am here when I agree. I saw the when I get to my who is who won a move. The Bitola House has always been there in our conversation. And now, when I heard for the Rekomo or or to his mother say, and someone, a former student, took this news to Facebook. And uh, I also with a really, you know, a, a, a broken heart, fondly remembering Rakomo. Hore, Panna. Hape Rakomo, he can reflect a pila pila, kids are not going to high school. Kids are not going to high school. As a new teacher, he was also a teacher then. Uh, post level 1, post level 2, post level 3, post level 4, post level 5. But, I'm going to tell you that the Rekomo is not going to go to all the high school. One school. I jump from this school to that school and that school. No, he was only at this one school. And at this one school, Mamelodi High, he became a teacher. Later on in life, na kamu join na ko rile matisher ka ofe, rile ko staff room, rile matisher ako post level one. Then he got promoted, go post level two as a head of department African languages. Then later on, he became the deputy principal, and later on, he became the principal of the school. And mama katong ana ao. Kuila ke tsa go le nna ke gate exactly ka mokhona ga ta ka teng ke namela ka exactly ka mokhona na mela se ka teng And if there was one person I can proudly say that was my role model Nele Reko Reko was my role model and I believe that he was a role model of many at Bamlodi High School Uh I realize that the moment the speaker still at the line, whenever we come up here, more programming might want to take more time. But let me just say, I want to cut my speech short. For the moment, now he contributed so much in my personal life, in my personal life. For the if you think I'm a smart guy, look back who's behind me. And that person behind me is Mr. Cole. Personally, he contributed. He made me, I wanted to be like him in many ways. Hegere, I wanted to be like him in many ways. Let me describe him as a true gentleman. A true gentleman. Or those who related with him or interacted with him would say, this was a real gentleman. Very sweet. He would teach you to have manners. Manners. Manners make a man. Without manners, you are nothing. An expression is that you are nothing. You are nothing. Always, Menace maketh a man. Without menace, you are a nobody. And he taught me very well. Munna Bahulu from Piyu. He taught me to respect elders. And he taught me Hore. You don't have to win every argument, Magui. No. You don't have to win every argument. You know, 
re church go bua fa re khong yeah go khota yeah sa tsona ye a very fluent person a very fluent person but ga na khota o tla mpolella are monna makwe when things are tough please learn to bend with the wind o sa ithe go bona o tla go bana makwe ya even these are true expressions say born le gona ya no after having taught with him for so many years for the nine years i was with him ke bona ke amo go pola ke go pola this expression are muna makwe you must learn to bend with the wind another expression e ke mo di le mo facebook o ke re khomo o tla nkhala he will bring me to order and he will say muna makwe he used to say that don't allow a rush of blood to your head you know always insisting that i must become when you approach issues makoya become and be careful don't criticize people unnecessarily reo I will never forget him. It will be very difficult to forget him in my life. Kene ke masala morao in many things. Ha ke itse go tlabeng gore re George a sa thalosa gore re o o narata sandal ska pelo le moya. Ay 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 ay. Ndato Mr. Komo go re ke re ke masala morao ka everything. I don't know but somewhere there in 1984 I joined Sundowns consciously so even taking a card red card get red cards na ma ne ke sala ena morao me re ta mo stedi a momo na re ta mo stedi a momo uh I I I wonder what not a mile among of his sons I think Kimbo Kibrus but one thing I remember come reco he liked a certain area kore ha na stadium o na tsama a tshori kula nda ya khale re na ba 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 pele ne re na go go extra strong re face kore le tsale na ka morao this side go morao mara yena na na that other side mo a face na le le tsatsi so a tshora go randa e bia so and uh, that was nearly city a high eu now those who followed sundowns for a long time would remember if a player by the he love more chafuya armona makwe we say love more chafuya ke khomo akere yena yena ke kena mr khom ar we say love more chafuya ke khomo man and love more chafuya used to be uh, you know akere ke 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 super sap ko na ko ra mo ko re ga ma a bula isa mr khom o pele gore no le ne sa go go riwe mara love more o paletso are monna ba pue o se love more ke khomo hey hey we se ha bule ha na bua ka sundowns ko re na bua ka yona o utlo re monna o manna o se bua ka yona ka mo from moyeng wa hai so na mo la pele la ha khomo eh ka re almost all of them kiba kiba itse ke saba itse physical ge ke ne ke ta mo lapeng i found to gore le me mo lapeng is so sweet and urisi ba batho who wanted to interact with me and one thing which i i remember mako and which i learned from him ke gore he would leave school i know go tlakanetsa somewhere kwa go squaring i would get some high go tla mere go i don't know at this time uh, margaret watches ke margaret o are ya mako mo margaret watches so i've learned that or monna mosadi wa tlo go melo monna makwele o tlo go mela mosadi wa ha o tlo go mela ke motho hey ka re re o monna yer don that's why ke re na re go mo taught me a lot a lot of things in life 
and then Casa Levale or Reo Untutile Bupilo. Mo Facebook. When I was called about Boba Macalagan, I was going to come from a high. Then I come from a high. Then I got a boy. I've never spoken to Boyki, but Nansan Pusagay. Now, who is going to come from a high reco? Now, let me just explain this one how everybody enjoyed him in high school. Kure, there was no dull moment with Brad Hey, yes, tough meetings. There was there was a period where they say Riyako, hey Riyako staff meeting, but that Riyako Bill Cosby show. Kore kamor kore retsera retsili. Kore stress retsuri sea stress retsuri sea aso because Rekon was always, especially when he was a principal. Here, I'm not a swara, not a swara. I don't want to see. And uh, I want to say, uh, like I said, uh, but there were so many other young people. Then, young men then. And then he, you know, he brought them up. Marna, I can proudly say, he really raised me up to be who I am today. If you think that I'm a gentleman, please check who brought me up. And that man is Mr. Hogan. So, Kikupa Kore La Balahai, especially Banavahai, Bruce Limpo Le Bohang Le Lesson. You had a very great father. Please make sure Legacy Ahai, I destroy you. I destroy you next. And I want to believe. Baba Mizi. Ah, Celezelita was about No. Ah, Talatala de Mumusim. No. Bata no Safahore, Unaitadala, which are Panyanis. Mara Erebo Woods, Ogasam Utoba Buena, all over around here. I'm sure some people here, Momo P1, don't know him that much, but hard enough. Because Muno kept, you know. Not that he, he was never, he was, you know, he was not a proud man. If you get a chance to interact with him, he will interact with you. But he will always be a family man. And that's what he taught me. Munna Mokuya, be a family man. So, I, 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 I want to say, Mama, Mokai, I'm, 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 for us, we feel good. We say, "Sello." I can't believe we're going to win. We're going to win. I can't believe we're going to win. Because last year, we didn't have a chance. We didn't have a chance. We didn't have a chance. Like Kimbis, Kimbis, you won't believe for it. That how I'm humble and lowly. Hey, we're not going to win. Don't make a mistake. Who's going to pull the pull up your wallet? We're going to have a crack. Kimbis, the two of us, Kimbis, has a lot. How? So, from that time, Astambulan, Mara, there was a very long period of Misa Kimbis. Mara announced from today onwards, Kimbis no more. So, Kimbis um, my last words, if I, I had a chance to talk to Mr. Komu before Atama, I would have said that I will never ever be able to thank you enough for always being there for me. He has always, always been there for me. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Matinho. Uh, I think uh, now we're moving over to tribute by the children. Banabamalum uh, Eli. Can I have some music, please?
I really need, I know there's a vote of thanks for Kumabiking, but uh, I want to thank 
Uh, I also want to thank my siblings. Our neighbors, uh, there's a lot of friends here, neighbors, people who wanted to be here, but we had to stop them. There's family members from other provinces, uh, at least the uh, I've had a lot of support from my alumni uh, association, Yafist especially. I want to say thanks to all of them. I want to say thank you to 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 Tepo. Tepo guy. Tepo Tepo Kikato Funerals. Uh, he's a close friend of mine, Rivitalam Twala, because uh, through the Dehwabi family we are both related to that family. And uh, when I when I called him on Sunday, uh, he stood up and he said, this is a family uh, uh, affair. I'm going to do my best to make this thing work. So I want to thank everybody. I, I, I need to apologize, Exa Lewoha, anyone. Um, but to go into what I want to say about my father. Um, you know, I went back in time and I started thinking about my grandfather. My grandfather, oh, a very light-skinned man who turned out listen also. Um, when I was quite young, Rago ma upai. Rakulo na zamale na rea kubo bago no dura sushangu. Then everywhere we went, everybody was saying tatu kumu tatu kumu, and they gave him this respect. And I started wondering, Harmar, Mokalabo, why is everybody so afraid of him? I remember rea kundlung engwe. As soon as rea prika. All the children there ran away. And I started wondering, and Then Raya Winterfeld, I think got 10 Morgan. Now the borehole pump. But the, the thread that I was picking up is that this man is respected everywhere. And when he passed away, it's funny enough, um, it was very similar to how my father passed away. Very similar. Like an AEG, it was very similar. And when when we we buried him, the funeral, and that's when I realized Tore, there was great respect for, for, for my grandfather. Fast forward, I start looking at how my father lived his life, how people treated him and how he was respected by his peers, everybody around him. And uh, some, somewhere, somehow, the fact that uh, things just started happening. People would receive you. People whom you must respect because they are older than you gave you the respect. And uh, now I don't know about the, my, my three other siblings. Now I rode on it. I, I enjoyed it. If, but hey, put in your hundred randa, can one under the comb, then I'm a hand. I used it. I hope they really very easy to chance it. So, but it told me a lot about uh, what type of person he was. And what I've learned from him is that it's not impossible to live your life with integrity. He was quite principled. Wherever you go, people talked about what he did, what he said. Um, as I was sitting in the back there, uh, I remembered a poem that I love today because of him. Uh, I think I had it there. <clears throat> I realized what uh, about in the latter age of, of life. the older generations. Uh, and I, I can prove it now. Sonnet 116. How many people know Sonnet 116? You will see it's the older people. Mara, the generation here got down, if you say Sonnet 116, 
they must google like literally google kale they had to but sorry they exit the video by mara was that go yaga encyclopedia um the first line let me not to the marriage of true minds admit impediments love is not love which alters when it alteration finds or bends with the remover to remove oh no it is an ever fixed mark my father would drink his scotch whiskey and start explaining this sonnet to me can i work it's very good but i learned a lot and as i grew older i i, I got to love the sonnet shakespeare uh, even my wife now na kweke mo chama ke mo tshwerela sonnet 16 so it goes a long way but i i look at what i've done in my life um my family i think i'm i'm happy i can provide for my kids but i don't think even in, in my highest or prime i will ever 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 measure up to the man he was um some of the principles he believed in people just talked about uh hypocrites but you know he 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 walked the talk and he said what he did and i i've learned a lot and i'm thankful for that you know um ndata makoya na bolela ka botshafunya i remember how he used to get irritated the house and as a trick na kuma um he let he had a term that he loved bloody fool i got more to this bloody fool and i feel it I'm sure in Akuma calling he knew right go be one more I'm a bloody fool. And yeah, hey, I remember often the heart to allo 22 years ago. Eh, I heard just badly. Mahai gana hana yona tabe a bloody fool. Ar ko re batla re ngwana ka ke bloody fool le. Please tell your father never ever to call my child a bloody fool. And luckily till today Uh, I don't think it's ever happened. Has it ever happened? No. So at least he stuck to to his words. Yeah, no. I'm happy about that. I was looking forward to celebrating their 50th anniversary. Uh, my mother and my father. But somehow I decided to go to watch first. Uh I I 50th anniversary. And when I thought of the the, the 50th anniversary It took me back to one day I was sitting here in Mohai and uh, but was somewhere goes okay and he was jolly and he was merry and uh, he had an episode with scotch and there was a lot of english that evening and then he started explaining her no we are from a 15th uh, 50th anniversary of this couple eh baha a tlo salvita tsho bola ke baha ma abua are He went to that wedding 50 years ago with his father Rakhulwak. And Kale when uh, the parents went somewhere they would leave the the kids in the car. And he was in the car waiting on his father to come back. And that was the first time he saw my mother. Kuleli Selwo. He was probably in his teens. and i think as he said nabakwi ra sketch or something and he says ah no that was the end of it uh, he had chosen i think at the age of 14 or 15 somewhere as he said and i looked at it and i said wow 14 15 years today they're still together they even attended the 50th when the uh, wedding anniversary ya le nyalo le na ba le attendile together a long time ago uh Okay, at least in an early plaque because i would assume back then car racial segregation you had to have serious confidence you know so when i look at it you must be able to speak africans or english you know no fit hamolo rei exup jo you would have a problem can it but yeah um there's so many stories to tell um i used to i remember sundown said dalago super stadium it was a wednesday i think or thursday 
and René Lidi study go to our town. And he told me, hey, Rasu Pastigamo, I attended the study, get the whole Lale Jones. Jones was my principal. And that's how I had to dodge that to or repay Lero level as and down so that three. Until today, I think uh, he's made me love the team more. Um, it was Sundowns, his family, and uh, I did see what else. But uh, when it comes to education, it's something that he also preached as well. I mean, who we know about is his level of knowledge. Every time I would sit here and we start discussing things, he already knew what I was talking about. Here and there, more I want to he's not too clear about the information I was giving. A week later, he would say, yeah, no, I googled that story that you are talking about. It's true. And he would even give me more information, more than the one that I gave you. I look at that and I say, this is a good example of how you should be. I hope that we are able to live up to his name. Uh, we are able to live up to the common name as a family and uh, have his legacy be with us forever. Um, my mother, to you, we are here as your children. We will probably be here more than uh, normal. So if we are here at least twice a week, so it will save us a bit. But we are here and we will always be here for you. We'll make sure that that gap, I know we won't be able to fill it, but we will try our utmost best to fill that gap. Thank you very much to the tribute by Baraba Maluma Rena Malum Edi. Let's move over to the next item. Uh, the reading of the obituary. We are finished with the speakers. Just hold on. Children, oh, a tribute by their grandchildren. Sorry, sorry. Uh, where are the grandchildren? Can I have some music, please? In Kamupili, meantime, can I have some music, please? Sorry, I nearly closed it out, guys. Give it some respect. Thank you. Thank you. That was very sweet and short. Um, the undertaker say, can I have some booty from the undertaker say, at Lopopi? So that uh, we can start arranging our time with them. Uh, can I have some bit of music, please? 
Het lag op hulle, maar nie kreeg hy sal op hulle.
From Svong Giluk Home, tribute to my loving and caring father-in-law. You've accepted me the way I am. I miss your jokes and laughter. As a father-in-law and father figure, your absence left a deep wound in my heart. It is very sad that you are no more. Your humor will always be remembered. Your kindness, your kindness and your guidance will always love you. May your soul rest in peace. From your wife, Margaret. Thank you for 48 years of a wonderful marriage. Thank you for the four wonderful children that you gave me. God's will for you to leave me at the, this juncture that you want more for the unconditional love that we shared together. Rest in peace, my love, until we meet again. From Lebanon, Kings. Papa, I'm just distraught. I never thought this day would come. You are my advice, my counsel. I'm lost. Thank you for everything. I love you always, your daughter. Uh, Mrs. Koma and children, Abuti Edi, sleep well and good night. From Gracie, Sohan and children, Mabapa. Thank you. Thank you very much. We have now reached a place more retro Bulela Muruti. But I prefer or what some rather than what some keep piano give a copella lerfe sefela. Let's now see. We are ushering the Holy Spirit into the house now. Copella a baba eating a defila is a filler or chorus. Let's stand up and reopen the chorus. Ashare Muruti, Pastor Samson, in to give us uh, today's service. Once you are still standing, Father, we thank you for the reading of your word. I pray that it will minister comfort, it will minister hope, it will minister fortitude. I pray that you will anoint my lips of clay to speak as your very oracles, that your people will have, and all of us will have a better understanding about the concept of death and look forward to future in hope and understanding of the resurrection. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you so much. Uh, my time is quite limited. Uh, according to the program, we have to leave at 9 o'clock. So when I touch on different points in what I'm going to share this morning, I believe that you will understand why I am doing that. I had uh, initially been asked to share for about 20 minutes. I do not have that time anymore, but there are thoughts which I want to share with all of us this morning. Uh, I'm going to try and just, you know, conceptualize everything. But first of all, I want to uh, convey my heartfelt condolences to the Como family and uh, for me to come and share this morning I'm part of this family 
it's quite humbling because scripture tells us that the prophet is not without honor in his own family. And so to be asked by the family to come and speak, it's not just an honor, but it's also quite humbling and uh, uh, to take on this particular task. I want to deal with something. You know, when you go to, to weddings, I've been married for 25 years, it's easy to teach because then at least I can speak about my real experiences. And uh, if there's other things that you're able to talk about, at least people can relate. But then the thing is, I have never died before. Now to come and assure and speak to people and, and assure them and give them hope about something that you have not experienced is quite difficult. Because then how do you give people hope about something that you have not been through? Because in a sense, I'm in the same boat as everybody that is sitting here. And therefore what you are talking about can be regarded as very theoretical because you have never gone through a death, burial, and a resurrection. And so what I'm going to share in the few minutes that I have, it's couched in the form of a question. Because you find two people asking this question, one in the Old Testament and one in the New. And like I said, I'm just going to be very brief, so if I don't go into the details of what I'm going to share, you will, you will bear and understand with me. The Bible says in the book of Job, chapter 14, verse 14, this was Job. He lost 10 children in one day in a very tragic way. And what is very strange about this man's account is that uh, Scripture tells us that Job was a man who feared God. He was a man who hated everything that was evil. Job was a man who was very prosperous, but one day his children were having a party in one of their children's homes and they all died. And a messenger came and said, you know what, your children were having a party and a great windstorm came and it beat their house and all of them have died and I'm the only one who came to speak to you about, to tell you this message. And after losing all of his children, he lost all of his businesses. He lost everything until his body was also developing sores to the point that his wife came to him and said, Job, are you still going to serve God after you've gone what you've gone through? He said, just cast your God and die. As if that was not enough, came three of Job's friends to the funeral or to comfort him. Mm, that means it's way far, far more than the people that are here. And three of Job's friends for more than about 20 or so scriptures. Well, scripture tells us that they came, they sat with him for seven days. They were wondering about all of this tragedy, that how can this man who goes to church, reads the Bible and he goes through this kind of tragedy. And when they started to open their mouths, that is now after seven days, they kept on guessing. Job, maybe there's one sin you've committed. Job said, guys, you know, I made a covenant with my eyes not to, not to even look upon a maid. I mean, I'm just a man who fears God. I'm, in a sense, it's like I'm sinless, if you were to put it that way. But here's my point. When you get to chapter 14 and verse 14 of the same book of Job, he asks this question because none of his friends could ever help him none of them could ever come with a solution why he went through this situation now job asked this question he says if a man dies shall he live again if a man dies shall he live again and that's the question I ask myself when I go to funerals. That if I die, will I ever live again? Is this the end of Mr. Komu's existence? Is this what God really did when he created the first man? That we are born and we enjoy our lives and as it is being played in the PowerPoint presentation and we say that's the end of our lives? 
That's the question I want to ask this to answer this morning. And then when you get to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, in verse 35, somebody takes Job's question even further. Remember, Job said, If a man dies, shall he live again? Then when you get to 1 Corinthians 15, verse 35, somebody asks this question. He says, How are the dead raised up? First question. The second question is, with what body do they come? I found those questions very relevant, very legitimate, because this person was seeing people die and leave this planet just as we are convocated this morning. And we cannot and should not go to funerals of our loved ones and just brush those questions aside. And this man asked this question, he said, how are the dead raised up? And with what body do they come? And it is very interesting that when Paul was penning this question, which now adds to become three questions that we are dealing with before we leave to the cemetery. Because Job asked this question, he said, if a man dies, shall he live again? In other words, will Mr. Komu ever live again? or any loved one that we have, will they ever experience another existence? And the two questions that I just mentioned in 1 Corinthians 15, verse number 35. And I'm going to answer those questions this morning. What is very interesting is that Job, he was asking a rhetoric question because he answered himself. So if you have your Bible or you can know this scripture and read it when you get home, he said, if a man dies, shall he live again? And then he answered himself. He said, all the days of my life, I will wait until I see my change comes. In other words, Job believed that even though I've lost all my children and I possibly also will die, there is a change that is going to happen. But you see, when you read the book of Job, you don't really get to understand how that change is going to come. Which brings us to the question of the one who was asking it in the book of 1 Corinthians 15, verse 35. When he says, how are the dead raised up? Because when we go to the graveyard and you start to dig up all the graves of people who have died, who have been buried many years ago, you're going to find that they have decomposed, their bodies, everything is just rotting. So I want to know that if you tell me about the resurrection, how is it going to happen? And that's why I said that question is very relevant. Because it's going to give us hope. Because when you read your Bible, in 1 Corinthians 15 verse 19, Paul tells us that if in this life our hope in Christ ends in this world, he says we are amongst men the most miserable. What he simply is telling us is that if in this life we believe that when we die, we die, it's over. He said you are the most miserable person. In other words, the most miserable person is not the one who doesn't go to church. It's the one who believes that when we die, it's all over. Our existence has already ended. Now, this is how Paul answers this question. Of this questioner who says, if a man, how are the dead raised up and with what body do they come? Look how Paul answers the question. The next verse says, foolish one. What you sow is not made alive unless it dies. What is interesting is that Paul does not answer the question of that person who says, how are the dead raised up and with what body do they come? Paul does not give a theological answer, but he gives a biological answer. Now I'm very cognizant of the fact that the person we are laying to rest was an educated person. And put an educated answer. He says, what you sow is not made alive unless it dies. I want to repeat that. He said, what you sow is not made alive unless it dies. In other words, death becomes a necessity for life. 
Because he says what you sow. What do you sow? You sow seeds. For many of us here, must have gone to school. And we must have done some biology at some stage. And I did not understand what they were teaching us at that stage, but they were teaching us about 1 Corinthians 15 verse 36. They told us that we must come and bring seeds and a cotton wool and put it in a glass. And then, when we're sitting in the class and we'll say, okay, every name, the old body or the old shell or the old covering on that seed, it will begin to rot. It will begin to decompose. Remember what I just said right now. But as it rots and it decomposes on its own, automatically, it begins to peel off the old body, the old shell, and a clean white shell begins to develop. And after a while, you see the blade, the, the blade. It begins to shoot out. Then you see the ear and the full corn, and it starts to grow. And this is what Paul is telling us. This is how Paul is answering the question. And that's why I say Paul is not giving a theological answer about our existence, but he's giving us a biological answer. To answer the question, how are the dead raised up? He takes us into a classroom and said, you know what? What you sow is not made alive unless it dies. So when we die, actually, death is not the end of our existence. Death is a portal into the next life. Death is a portal into eternity. And I want to say this as I close this morning. That you see, you don't need to go to church to believe in the resurrection. You need to go back to the class of biology. Because that class and that example I just made right now teaches us that when things die, it's not the end of them. When things decompose, it's not the end of them. Everything becomes repurposed. Everything begins to start from scratch again. So what can we say about Ntate Edwin here? Is that as we die and we sow this body, God is going to give him a glorified body. A body that does not rot. A body that does not get old. A body that will not experience cardiac arrest. A body that will not get tired. The Bible calls it a glorified body. It should give every one of us hope as we are sitting here, that death is not the end of life, but it is just simply a portal. It is simply a transition into the next life. And here is one scripture that I just want to bring based on what God spoke to Jeremiah. He said, before you were conceived in your mother's womb, he says, before you were conceived in your mother's womb, so the question we must ask ourselves, when does conception take place? Conception takes place when the sperm of our fathers fertilizes the ovum. But God says, before you were conceived in your mother's womb, I knew you. The question is, if I say I knew you before you came to this funeral, that means there was a place and an existence and a realm and a time where we met each other. Starting to know each other here, but if I say no, I knew you before you came to the Komu funeral, that means you existed somewhere. Now, this is what God is saying He said, Before you were conceived in your mother's womb, before you were constituted, before you were formed, before you developed, and your mother took a pregnancy test and said, oh, I'm pregnant. God says, Before conception, I knew you. We only knew each other, and we only knew Mr. Komu after conception when he was born. And there was a date of his birth. So in other words, before there were dates of birth and date of death, the Bible says God says he knew us. So what does that mean? We existed in eternity. And what happens is we penetrated this world through the womb. But we exit this world through the tomb. So life does not start in the womb and it can never end in the tomb. We have been living in eternity. And when we exit in this world, through the grave, we go back to eternity. I'm out of time. Uh, thank you, Muruti. I was just arranging with the undertakers in terms of time. 
I prefer us not to rush Malume Yuri Pizzoli and Asabaka, so I made it allow and so forth. We must be able to open our hearts. God, this is the last moment by which we are with him and Kebekere Umuruti Obasantor Alukulu Heliena. But all the same, we have we've now come to the end of uh, our program, Miamontum. What we are going to do, let's stand. We are going to do the sinner's prayer. We are not going to give the devil a chance for the lives of our people. Amen. Amen. Or when you die here, no one knows who Riyakokai. But the main fact is when we have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, we have the guarantee for a Rikom Mona Christi Jesum Rena, Rikopela and Okoma Hurimo Hurimo. And normally, when you do a sinner's prayer, we always want people to raise their hands. We don't want to see for a Kemal Aimi Sansiat. It's only the Holy Spirit who will minister to the hearts of men and women who he has chosen. I would want you to repeat with me, let's close our eyes and let's say the following. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, I'm going to repeat. Let's say the following. We are talking to Jesus Christ and this is our lives. Dear Heavenly Father, Dear Heavenly Father I come to you a sinner in the name of Jesus. I accept that I am a sinner lost without God. I believe with my heart that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. I believe that he was crucified for my sins. I believe with my heart and confess with my mouth now Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Therefore I am saved washed by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Give yourself a good hand. <laughs> as we are standing, I'll advise you, as we have done the sinner's prayer, go into a church. Minister to people. Win souls for Jesus Christ. Because that is your fruit. And be in prayer groups. Amen. Amen. for this program. We pray for you continue to comfort the hearts of the bereaved, the parents, the children, even the great children. We pray that you will lead and guide us as we proceed to the cemetery to sow this seed which will germinate into a life eternal in God. We thank you for gracing us with your presence. And Father, we just thank you for everyone that has organized this program so gracefully up until this time. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Stay standing. And uh, those who are supposed to carry uh, the body of our Malum Edi to come closer, the undertakers are here. And direction are not the Kakwa, Can you come close as the family? Please, let's have men. Ria Kohars for the cemetery. Only those who are on the list should go, please.